tens of thousands. I think this is one of the single greatest coins ever issued by the United States Mint. Wow. I think it's one of the single greatest That's coins. That's a big statement, Mike. Well, and the reason is because it meets all of those standards of collectability. The rarity, because it was released at the end of the year. And what happens when they release a coin in, like, November? Everybody's already ready for the next coin. Mm -hmm. They're moving on. They're moving on. Like the SP coin from this year has already been released. It's been released months and months and months ago. We've had months and months and months to sell. Okay? Mm -hmm. We've had months and months and months to sell them. Do you understand? This one was released so late in the year, I never even got to sell it in 2016. And it's a significant coin. Several things about 2016. The United States government only made three different silver eagles. The regular mint state coin that they made 40 million of. The proof coin that they made about a million of, and then this coin. The satin finish. Which is 186,000. That's minuscule. It's, it's, it's yeah. by far the rarest coin of 2016. Now add in the 30th anniversary designation with the edge lettering. The only edge lettered Silver Eagle of the 30th anniversary American Silver Eagles, okay? That say 30th anniversary. That 10th anniversary coin that's a $30,000 coin, it doesn't say anywhere on the coin that it's 10th anniversary. This was the first time they did this. This is the first time they've ever done that. That was just the first time they ever put a West Point mint on a coin was the 2000 and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, two th the 1995 10th anniversary. That's why it's a $30,000 coin in this condition. The 20th anniversary coin was just very simply the very first SP or satin finish coin, or a uh, uh, reverse proof coin, sorry, that they did in 2006. That coin, this coin's rare. They did 250,000 of that coin. It sells for like 1,100 bucks in this condition. I've got this coin, which is substantially rarer at 186,000, not for 1,000 or 1,100 or $1,200, but still for $149.95. Because I, I, like I said, I bought, I bought more than anybody else on the planet of these things. <laughs> because I, I, I know a good coin when I see it. And you knew the importance of I the coin. I knew the importance of this coin. I knew this was a coin that when, it, when people realized what they missed, because nobody bought it in 2016. Like I said, it fell between the cracks. People were already waiting for the 2017 coins. They were already doing other things. And so by the time you did this, by the time uh, uh, this coin came around to 2017 and it was too late, people had moved on, but I had already bought the coins and I already knew how great this and coin And you already be. had them. I already had them. And that's why I can still put $149.95 on this. Right. That's why I can still put $149.95 <laughs> And, oh, Still going to put a red oak presentation okay. box in it. You know, I mean, it'd just be the easiest thing in the world for me because it is so desirable, it is so valuable, it is so collectible to just take the box away. Right. But, but you get that. But understand, and, I'm, and unfortunately, while I owned almost all of these coins, yes. my supply is running quite thin. Wow. And, and you know, today I think is the perfect opportunity. You can see the little snowflakes falling down our screen. We're mm -hmm. all ready into full swing here at HSN for our holiday return policy. We want to make shopping fun, easy. We want to give the perfect gifts to anyone on your holiday list, whether it's men, women, kids, children, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, whoever it may be. And you know what? One gift that never gets that look of they shouldn't have is money. <laughs> <laughs> and a coin that is rare and collectible. Now, with our normal policy of return is 30-day money-back guarantee. But because we've already kicked into our holiday return policy, you now, if this is given as a gift and they change their mind, have until January 31st, 2018, to return this coin. In the world of coin collecting, that does not happen. So take advantage as we love. I love that this little graphic says, stay calm, keep cool. We're going to take care of you. So you can, keep, you know, stay calm and gift on. Right. So that is available for everyone along with four flexible payments of $37.49. Although I would argue to not stay calm about this coin necessarily. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I, I literally have less than 500 of these coins right. left in this mint state or, or the SP70 condition. So in our last minute here, let me let me kind of reiterate. So of the anniversary coins, mm -hmm. this is by far the most affordable. Of the four anniversary coins, we have 10th, 25th anniversary, 20, uh, 20th anniversary, and the 30th anniversary. The price, $149.95 for this one, and then in descending order, $1,300, $1,100, and $30,000. So I think you, when you, you get them at their trend. original issue, you can see your trend. Right. And the trend for this is better than, than perhaps the other ones. The fact that it is the only of all of the American Eagles of any kind that has a, a anniversary designation on the edge of the coin itself, the only edge-lettered American Silver Eagle. Then, on top of that, of all of the SP or satin finish coins made at the West Point 
Saint Mint. As you can see, do not confuse this with the regular Eagle. This is the rarest of those coins as well. Mm. So we are going to be wrapping up. The clock has gone down. It's 538-906. And remember, this is a customer pick. Oh, and you know another perk that we have? I love the holiday season because here at HSN, we are really celebrating. We're getting you ready. And we're also helping with lots of ways to save because we know it's the holidays and you want to be able to save and make it through the holidays and not feel like, oh my gosh, all my money is flying out the door. If you would like to save $20 on a single item purchase, when you apply for the HSN credit card. Instead of $10 off, we're going to double it. We're going to take $20 off your very first purchase. So if you want to take that Silver Eagle down to $129.95, you apply for that HSN credit card, take $20 off your first purchase. If it's that Silver Eagle, you're saving $20. And you're getting the holiday extended return policy. Yeah, so you it's know, a that's win -win. my favorite time of the year for this. Right. And people don't send back coins. No. But I like no, being no, 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 able no, no, no. to offer it because nobody else yeah. does it. In, there's not a single solitary person in the coin business anywhere that will give you a return policy <sighs> like that. No. And the way you can do that is by giving great coins with great value. All right, we're going to stick with the Silver Eagles. Now, this is the 2017 Satin Finish 70. Yeah, just a quick two minute. So, as I said, you know, we had the 2016 16. Satin Finish. Well, 2017 has been out for quite some time. I've got it right here. As a matter of fact, the limited edition. There's the 2017. And for those of you that perhaps don't follow us every week and you wonder what satin finish means, it's a special presentation finish that the United States government makes. I know it looks like the uncirculated coin, but the W or West Point mint mark denotes that this is a special presentation coin, unlike the regular Silver Eagle, okay? This coin, as a matter of fact, is somewhere in the neighborhood of Oh, probably the better part of a hundred times rarer than the regular American Silver. You'll notice at original issue price, $149.95. The first day of issue, which is exclusive to us here at HSN, Annex first day of issue is only available here. 3,195 coins. That is for the entire year's distribution for this coin. I have, uh, uh, we've sold well over a thousand of these coins already. Still comes in the Red Oak presentation mm -hmm. box. It is first day of issue. They're individually numbered to ensure their place within the limited edition. So if you bought the 2016 like you bought from us, or the 2015, 14, 13, uh, you want 12, you want, to, you want to continue completing this. We, I've sold this coin here at HSN since its release the SP coin in 2006. Fabulous, fabulous opportunity for you to own this coin. And we've got about 15 seconds left on that clock. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the 2016 and the 2017 mm -hmm. both have four flexible payments and that's of $37.49 to get this one at home. But Mike, the fact that they're grading that satin finish 70, the highest possible grading, this doesn't go to 100. So someone No, 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 we grade it. We, uh, coins are graded on a 70 point scale, not a 100 point right. scale. So 70 is the highest and best possible grading. And as Mike, you always say, the, the most important thing is obviously that condition yep. and the, just the rarity of the coin. So continue to call in here. We also want to share with you already proving to be so popular. We have sold out of the Mint State 70. We are now into the final quantities of the Mint State 69. Brand new launch here today. It has been wildly popular and busy. The Palladium coin. Mike, talk to us about the importance of this the coin. The only Palladium coin ever released by the United States government. You're looking at at it right here. I know it looks like a Mercury dime. It is a tribute to Adolf Weinman that they did in the rarest of the of the precious metals that they've ever done. Palladium, literally 150 times rarer than platinum, 150 <laughs> times rarer than platinum, which is 100 times rarer than gold. So you've got the rarest of all of the rare metals uh, that we've got. It is the Adolf Weinman design, as you can see right here. Uh, uh, obverse and reverse. Once again, the 70 already sold out. I have the 69s, of course, at a lesser price for the Mint State 69s. So spectacular. Already a dozen of those gone. So we're right. already, by the time, and I'll do a full presentation later in the hour, that could quite likely sell out as well. I know. And you know what? You wouldn't want to miss out on that because Mike said just the difficulty of getting those. Every buyer that bought those coins only were allowed a certain allotment. So just very extremely rare, collectible, and sought after. Now, we also want to share with you, oh, this is so much fun. This is the Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas silver coin. Mike, this is still relatively new, right? Yes, it is absolutely relatively new. 
uh, that you've got right here. Uh, they just put this out, and it, that's kind of the classic Tim Burton uh, a Nightmare Before Christmas. They did it in a silver coin. Like I said, it comes in a cool little kind of coffin there. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, not necessarily for everybody, but if you're a big fan, and, and a lot of people are, what a great, uh, a great collectible uh, uh, ounce of solid silver in that as well. It is, and we're going to move right into, oh, this set is the set that my husband already bought. Yes, Mike. I'm sure he did. He did. This is our our 225th anniversary 10-coin set from the U.S. Men. Perfect enhanced uncirculated 70. Limited edition. This is $349.95. It is a stunning set. You're getting all 10 coins coming included here. Mike, walk us through because this, I mean, even the packaging alone is stunning. Well, uh, I, I have to take a look at this. So this is the 2017 enhanced uncirculated. So the, this is the 225th anniversary of the United States Mint. And they've done some special things for that 225th anniversary. Right. They've done some metal sets, and they've done that. But this is kind of the hallmark set that you see right here. Enhanced Uncirculated is a special way of making coins. The first Enhanced Uncirculated coin only came out, I think it was in 2014. Uh, it was the very first Enhanced Uncirculated coin, uh, uh, 2013 actually, uh, uh, because it's such a technologically difficult process. What they have to do is they have to use lasers to finish the dye, to create proof or proof-like surfaces within the dye, or to kind of take it and make matte finish surfaces within the dye. And so that technologically advanced process has only been uh, available for about five or six years. The United States government prior to this set had only released six enhanced uncirculated coins in its history, all of which sell uh, for an average of about, probably about $400 to $500 per coin for the enhanced uncirculated that have been released prior to this. So to bring this to bear for the 225th anniversary, the United States government made an entire set of enhanced uncirculated coins, which they had never done before. They did 225,000 of those sets. They sold them out from the United States Mint in four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes, 225,000 sets. <laughs> That's impressive. Almost instantaneously, the price of these ungraded, uncertified sets, you know, kind of skyrocketed. Now, as in any collecting, and particularly numismatic and coin collecting, what you want to do is you want to collect the highest possible grade. These coins are all certified perfect. That's, that's important on several levels. First of all, you have a perfect set. Well, there were 225,000 sets. There are not 225,000 perfect sets. As a matter of fact, I don't even believe there's 25,000 perfect sets. And certainly there's not 25,000 certified perfect sets. I'm talking about in all possible uh, uh, places, in all possible venues by all of the grading companies, PCGS, NGC, or Annex. None of them together. Okay, all of them, sum, the sum total of all of them <clears throat> doesn't equal 25,000 sets. Now, our first day of issue, as you can see right there, look at the limited edition, is 1,092. To put it uh, uh, the easiest way, half sold out. Of, we're, we're half sold out. I got about 500 sets left of the entire edition in perfect Mint State 70. So of the 225,000 sets, only 1,000, less than one half of 1% of them are Annex certified perfect first day of issue, and you're looking at those. Now here's why that's important. So you have the enhanced uncirculated. You have 10 certified coins. Understand the certification alone here is almost a $300 value. It's about $30 to certify a coin. Good luck finding the set for $49.95. And of course, the certification when you're one half of 1% right. of the existing sets, of the extant sets, being uh, uh, going to be Annex first day of issue, then you know, you'd know you have to grade 20 sets or 30 sets to ensure that you get a perfect one. You could spend literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for grading. But now let's a, take a look at it on a coin by coin basis. By the way, you get it in this absolutely really cool spiffy box. So it's absolutely rare, it's first time, look you get that. all 10 coins, they're all certified, they're all perfect, and they all come in this custom box just like this. I love it. Now I wanna talk about the coin by coin. Like you said, your husband got this. Yes. Up. Because he understands piece by piece, I could probably break this up and sell it for five or six or $700 mm -hmm. quite easily. Right up here, let's take a look at the Lincoln cent. We can get in close on that. You notice it's kind of proof-like on the one cent part of that. Of all of the, these are all made at the San Francisco Mint. Of all of the San Francisco minted Lincoln cents ever made by the United States government, this is the rarest. The 1909 SVDB, which you've heard about and sells for tens of thousands of dollars in its highest grade, this coin is rarer. 
If you want to look at any of the incredibly rare Lincoln cents, the regular issue Lincolns, this is the rarest of all of those coins. I could quite easily see this, and I've seen this coin selling for $100 or $150 by itself. Just the one cent? That's right. And it is also, yes, it's the only enhanced uncirculated Lincoln cent ever made by the United States government. I'm going to flip that over if you don't mind so you can just see that beautiful matte finish that's on the front of that coin. Understand in this coin, you're basically paying 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. Count the box in at $49.95. So you're basically paying $30. That's a coin that's easily $100 or $150. So, Mike, this is this is different than satin finish because this is yes, enhanced. Yes, yes. Satin finish is different. That's a, okay. just a special matte finish. These are enhanced, uncirculated. That's how you get this one cent looking proof-like because they've laser finished the die. Oh. It's extraordinarily technologically difficult. And that's why these are the only enhanced, uncirculated coins that the United States government is going to make this year. They've only made 16 in their history. This is 10 of them. The other six you couldn't buy for $349. There's many of those coins, not even one of them, you could buy for $349. <clears throat> if you go right next door to it, the, the Jefferson Nickel, the rarest Jefferson Nickel, uh, regular issue Jefferson Nickel ever yeah. made by the United well, States government is this over. coin right yeah. here. And that's going to be included <clears throat> for basically $30. Right instead of $100 or $150. And then the cost of getting a graded... The certification and all that. So now you're looking at rarity, collectability, desirability right. on an unprecedented level. Then you go to the Roosevelt Dime right next to that. They have done another enhanced uncirculated Roosevelt Dime. Good luck finding that for less than $100 in perfect condition. It came out of the March of Dimes set from several years ago. That's a problem for you to be able to get that set. So add in that coin. Now, those top three coins I can easily show you paying $349 for those. And I'm not talking about Annex first day of issue. I'm just talking about imperfect uh, EU enhanced uncirculated 70 period. Then you go down here. You're going to have the Kennedy half dollar. They've done another enhanced and circulated Kennedy. Right. In the 2014 set, I think we sold them out at $100 or $129. Okay. This coin is also enhanced on circulated that you're going to have. And it's every bit as rare as the other coin. As a matter of fact, they have the same mintage. You have the enhanced uncirculated Sacagawea golden dollar next to this. They did one in 2015. The EU 70 coin in that, the 2015, sells for I think about three or four thousand bucks. <laughs> okay, gosh. this one once again thirty dollars. So all of those are collectible. Like I said, I can make an argument that the first row should be three forty nine, and the second row should be three forty nine. But this is kind of the coup de gras down here. The national park quarters. Yes. The National yes. Parks Quarters. Every one of them in enhanced on circulated. If you want the five rarest Washington quarters made by the United States government, and you're looking at the 32D and the 32S have always been the hallmarks of collectability. Those are rarer than all of them. If you want the only five enhanced uncirculated quarters ever made by the United States government, those are them. If you want the rarest S-minted quarters made by the United States government in the last century, these are the five of them right here. And they are all certified absolutely positively perfect. And I should be selling that set by itself at $349.95. And indeed, someday I may. <laughs> and indeed, someday I may. So understand from a collectability standpoint, understand from a desirability standpoint, the rarity of this is virtually, you have the rarest, you have the rarest Lincoln cent, the rarest nickel, the second rarest dime. You've got the second rarest Kennedy. This is the second rarest Kennedy half dollar that you've got on this. You've got the rarest five quarters. So you have coins of exceptional rarity here of absolute and incredible exceptional rarity, and they're right. all certified absolutely positively perfect. Robin, you want to pick that up and show? I Look at that. Do. And you get the collector box with that as well. Understand the $349 basically represents very simply the certification price. That's what you would pay to certify these coins if you had the sets yourself. And like I said, the government sold those sets out sold those sets out in four and a half minutes. Right, and let's talk about, even if you did get it from the U.S. Mint, which is really the only place outside of once it's that secondary seller, mm -hmm. but my point is, is that you're not guaranteed to get a 70, right, Mike? No. So even though you buy <laughs> it from, from it. exactly, you don't know until you send it off to the, one of the four major grading companies. And Mike, let's talk about those those grading companies. Yeah, we have Annex, we have NGC, PCGS, and, and uh, ICG. Okay. Those are the four recognized grading companies. Well, and Annex, first day of issue and annex coins uh, you can get those anywhere 
But these coins for this price in this first day of issue are exclusive to us here at HSN. <clears throat> you simply cannot get them any place else. These sets are absolutely half sold through the entire quantity that I have got that we will able to be able to sell for the entire year. As a matter of fact, we have nearly the better part of 100 sets sold in this presentation. There's only 1,000 sets available for worldwide distribution. With everybody on the phone, we're going to sell 20 or 25% of the available sets right here, right now. The rarity of this, and once again, I want to go over this in the last minute or minute and a half that we have here. Understand. The rarest Lincoln scent, the rarest San Francisco minted Lincoln scent since 1909 is this coin right here. This coin right here substantially should be selling for $100 to $150 at the very least by itself. The rarest Jefferson Nickel, uh, uh, the second rarest Roosevelt Dime, the, basically the second rarest Kennedy half dollar, one of the five rarest uh, 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 Sacagawea or Native American dollars, but most importantly, the five rarest uh, Washington quarters that have been made since 1932 in regular uh, or uncirculated, the five rarest uncirculated Washington quarters, the only enhanced uncirculated Washington quarters ever made by the United States Commit. All five of them are included in this. Their rarity at 225,000, it's rarer than the proof coins, it's rarer than the silver proof coins, it's rarer than all of those coins. And these are the coins that sold out from the United States Mint, the original sets sold out from the United States Mint in four and a half minutes, folks. Four and a half minutes, yet you have a chance to own them in absolutely positively perfect condition, in absolutely positively perfect condition in our custom-made box for literally the cost of certification. Right. It's not like you have to buy a sold out set. You gotta buy five sets and send them in to try to get a and complete and perfect set. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> you know, fingers crossed, I'm gonna get a perfect set with five sets. You get the perfect set, one phone call, gets you an absolutely perfect right. set of one of the most significant sets ever released by the United States government. So think about that. So you're getting every single one of the 10 coins graded a perfect 70, enhanced uncirculated 70 at $349.95. You get all 10 coins. You get the wonderful packaging as well, coming included. It's 577-365. If you want this, this is exclusive with that enhanced uncirculated limited edition and annex. But I know with that limited edition, we are already more than halfway through the quantity that we have available. Well, the, the entire edition. Right. I mean, there's 1,092 of these. I'm down to, with everybody on the phone, I have 300 left. Right. I have 300 sets remaining just with the people that are on the phone. That's the, and that's the quantity I have forever. Ever. Okay, that's not just like this presentation or this area. That's what we have. Once we sell that out, that is all of the first day of right. issue enhanced uncirculated sets by Annex that will ever be available in the entire marketplace. And that's, that's it. The key. That's and that's it. it. Right. So 577-365, remember we have our holiday return policy already in play. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, you have all the way until January 31st, and that is if you're giving this as a gift. We've got much more in store, including that palladium coin, but we're gonna check in with Adam and be right back. You never know what we're gonna do on the Monday Night Show, but here's a sneak peek. There'll be more than a few surprises. And, <laughs> and weekly guest challenges. <laughs> but don't forget about the great products. This craziness is gonna continue. Tune in 7 p.m. on Monday or visit hsn.com and search Monday Night Show for more. Tis the season. It's the holidays at HSN. And this year we're celebrating 40 years of Mary. We've gathered all the things you need to make it the best holiday yet with something for everyone on your list. More gifts. Yes, please. Gifts for him. Gifts for her. A few for you. Gifts for kids. Gifts under 50. And exclusive finds you won't see anywhere else. Spend the holidays with friends. More. Is always merrier. More gifts. More brands. More friends. More Mary. Welcome in. Good evening. Happy Sunday, Robin, everyone. It's TV. It's TV. <laughs> <laughs> 
smack you. You're <laughs> so bad. I said to him, they took my palladium coin away. And Mike goes, no, we're going to it next. So he's keeping me on my toes this evening, as always. Um, we're going to move into the Palladium coin, as I just mentioned. Now, we started off our coin show when we opened our vault this evening here at HSN. We completely sold out of the Mint State 70s Palladium coin. It had, I mean, Mike said to me before we came out here, we have moved heaven and earth to get these coins. We are pretty much, I mean, Mike, you said, is this safe to say? Like, like we're pro probably really the only ones that already have, have them. That already have the coins. Yeah, that yeah, already yeah, have yeah. the coins. We, we have live, what we call live coins. Okay. I have coins in hand. Nobody else, as a matter of fact, up until two weeks ago, the government hadn't even released the final design. Okay. We didn't even know what they were going to look like. Nobody knew what they were going to look like literally two weeks ago. They finally kind of released a rendition of this, and then all of a sudden, boom, two weeks later, I have, I have actual coins in hand. This is right. the real deal. This is not a mock-up or anything else. Anybody else's... And anything else I've seen out there has been in pre-sell, oh. uh, which good luck with that. You know, right. uh, you know, uh, I, I love the pre-sell. Well, I, I bought mine and they're really, really rare, rare and everybody wants them. And they go, yeah, we didn't get what we thought, ah. you know. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. The pre-sell thing out there is one of the biggest jokes in the marketplace. And that's why we, we just don't really do that. So let me explain to you what this is. Okay. I got the coins. So we, we've got live coins. People have asked, what's the number one question we've been getting? What is palladium? Palladium, right. What is palladium? Palladium is a precious metal. As a matter of fact, in terms of rarity, on the scale of rarity, you have gold, then you have platinum. Platinum is about 100 times rarer than gold, roughly. Palladium is about 100 times rarer than platinum. So that makes palladium about 1,000 times rarer than gold. So in terms of pure collectability and desirability, literally palladium, which is Rare platinum, okay, is ultimately what it comes down to, is a thousand times rarer than gold. Now, based on the price of gold, this should be $1.4 million, okay? <laughs> But it's not. So what I believe, of course, is that palladium is significantly undervalued, just from a pure intrinsic value. And this is, by the way, people are going, well, if it's that rare, this just must be plated, right? Nope. No, 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 no. This is one ounce of pure palladium. 0.9995 fine palladium, right there, one ounce pure. So you've got the rare and intrinsic value of this. Now let's talk about it from a coin standpoint. How many palladium coins have ever been done by the United States government? None. You're looking at it. <laughs> right. Okay. Up, in, up until now, this is it. This is it, right here. This is the only palladium coin ever done by the United States government. Right here in hand, you're taking a look at it, and, you're, and, and we have it. This is your very first look. If it looks a bit familiar to you, it's because that is the design of the, what we call, Mercury, Mercury. Dime, designed by Adolf Weinman. Obviously, the front and back of these are vintage coins, and they're made to look like vintage coins with that palladium kind of almost has a matte finish, whereas platinum's a little shinier uh, with that. Now, the United States has been making platinum coins since 2000, and, or since 1997. As a matter of fact, I can't sell you a platinum American Eagle for $1,999.95, mm. even though palladium's a thousand or a hundred times rarer. Adolph E. Wyman also designed the reverse of this coin. This was supposed to be the reverse of the Walking Liberty half dollar. It turned out not to be. Thank goodness they saved the design, and we have it now in pure palladium. The United States government, when they released this, did not sell this coin and will not sell this coin directly to the United States public. It only goes out through a series of authorized purchasers, what are called APs. Those APs, there's about 12 of them, each one of them got basically 1,000 coins. They then allocated those... They then allocated those to their customers. I was able to, uh, moving heaven and earth to actually get the coin here was one thing, okay? Moving heaven and earth to get enough coins to sell here was a whole nother thing. Because all these people, I'll give you 50, I'll give you 50, I'll give you 50 or whatever. Obviously, to have 127 of these and then the 70s that we sold out for more money, I had to have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coins, of which I did. 
As a matter of fact, I had the better part of about 7% of the entire mintage of all the palladium coins that were out there. We invested in essence literally uh, uh, in excess of a million dollars just to be able to get the uncertified, ungraded coins, to be able to get the first day of issue, to be able to get the first coins in hand, to be able to get the very first and only palladium or ultra rare platinum coin high in high relief ever made by the United States government. I've got them right here, right now. Please understand that. With the Adolf Weinman design, folks, this is a phenomenally scarce, desirable, and valuable coin, and something that you 100% must put in your collection. The high relief refers to the strike of the coin. When you turn this to the side, you see Lady Liberty right there. Basically, Mercury wants to jump off the coin. It struck in ultra high relief. Beautiful. It's exceptionally beautiful coin. Mm -hmm. uh, palladium lends itself to that because it is the least dense, read softest of all of the metals that are out there, of the regular precious right. metals. So it's hard to get it to grade it's 70. It's hard to get it to grade 70. As a matter of fact, I believe 69 will be an exceptionally high grade mm -hmm. as well. Keep in mind, this is one ounce of pure palladium. This is one ounce of pure palladium that is in this coin. And it's extraordinarily difficult that you understand the rarity of the metal. You understand the rarity of the coin with a mintage of about uh, uh, of about 15,000 is all that they're going to do. It is the only palladium coin. So it is the very first time that I've been able to in 20 years sell a coin that is unique compositionally. So in other words, the United States government has not introduced a new composition coin in many, many, many years, they started making the Platinum Eagle. There was other Platinum type coins that the United States government had made and experienced, but they'd never done a Palladium coin Gosh, before. And I that. doubt that they will ever do one again because of the rarity of the metal. If you followed Palladium in the last uh, uh, a week or so, it's gone up about $50 an ounce. So the intrinsic underlying value of this coin has gone up about $50 in the last week. I had already locked in the price and that's why I can lock in the price to you at a, uh, at a at 19, uh, 90, 99 95 that we've got right here. It is, as you can see, first day of issue, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN in first day of issue. I am down to about 100 coins. Right. I am down to about 100 coins, and once I sell that out, once again, the first day of issue is done, gone, and over, never to be able to be offered again. Mm -hmm. It is exclusive to us 100%. We have got coins, which is a big deal. There's many coins out there, you may still say, see pre-sales out there or whatever for people at, at even more money. Uh, but understand, we have coins. We have been guaranteed coins. There has been tremendous allocations of this coins. There are many people that are not going to get the coins they thought they were going to. And uh, uh, you may be getting these sad sack letters. Oh, we'd love to be able to sell you the coin, but we just weren't able to get them. Ours are, ours are committed. Ours are owned. Ours are already being certified and graded. So right. buy where you know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, buy from a place that, that you know is... That's reputable, it, that, that's trustworthy, right. has been here. I mean, we've celebrated our 40th year here at HSN this year. So you want to buy from that trusted source. You want to buy where you know the coins have been authenticated, that they are guaranteed, and to the fact that you have an amazing return policy. And I don't say that lightly. Any given day, we offer 30-day money-back guarantee, which always. is fantastic, always. But for the holiday this season, is, this is crazy. it is crazy, especially for the world of coins. And you know what? Sometimes I always wonder, I'm kind of nervous, Mike, because I think think that they're going to say excluding coins, but they're not saying excluding coins. We are going to honor that return policy all the way through January 31st, 2018, if you're giving this coin as a gift. And by all means, when you think about the rarity, the collectability, how distinctive, how discerning, if you are that collector that you want the creme de la creme, you want the best of the best, this is your coin. The fact that you're talking about never in the history of the U.S. Met in two 225 years has never been made a palladium coin. That is a big deal. Well, palladium, like I said, is a thousand times right. rarer than gold. So palladium, so from just a pure intrinsic standpoint of owning the coin, of owning the metal, it's right. important.
Now add in making it into a coin. So that's just the intrinsic value. And then the now numismatic. Now add in the numismatic value. Right. Every one of these coins, which like I said, the government's not selling to the public, has already been spoken for, in essence, at the wholesale level. So only secondary coins are going to be made available. And what I have got is my original issue coins, the coins that I got right out of the chute. Now what happens with this is, is because of that, I have got less than 100, 100. of these left, okay? I have a, a limited edition because the first day of issue that you see right here is exclusive to us here at HSN. You absolutely simply cannot buy that anywhere but right here. There's 127. I am well less than 100 coins. As a matter of fact, with everybody on the phone, I got 90. about two dozen coins is all that remain. I had a very, I had a smaller, I had a small quantity of the Mint State 70s, which completely sold out already. This is your opportunity. This is your option. Folks, you will not be sorry. And with the extended return, you have till January 31st. First, you have till January right. 31st to Could set you, about, you simply can't go wrong to be able to own the only place that you can own the Annex first day of issue Palladium coin. It is just a special, special, special uh, opportunity. I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it. This is something for the rarity, for the opportunity, for the collectability has never been seen before. And Mike, you said with now what, 90 now, is my math wrong? No, your math, math is right. Is right. Okay. About 90, but I have more people, people than that in the, on the ordering phone. process. But they could be buying other things. And remember, we do not. This is historical, not only from the numismatic area, but it's also for the fact, even here at HSN, that we're offering a return policy all the way into January 31st, 2018, right. for you to decide if this is being given as a gift. I got 30 seconds left here, okay. folks. I want to. I want to hit hit the high points. When I look at this, you're going. It looks funny. That's the palladium. That's the luster of the palladium. It's why they did this coin. It's the only palladium coin ever done by the United States government. I know it looks like a mercury dime, but it's the size of a silver dollar. It is not plated in palladium. This is one ounce of pure palladium. If you're not familiar with palladium, you know gold, right? Platinum, this is a platinum family, okay? Platinum is 100 times rarer than gold. Palladium is 100 times rarer than platinum. It is one of the rarest metals on Earth is basically what you have is palladium. It is the only palladium coin ever done by the United States government, designed by Adolf E. Wyman. He didn't know it because it was 100 years ago. But this is 100-year-old designs, gives you this vintage look with this incredible metal that you're going to have uh, uh, with this. The only palladium coin ever done by the United States government. With everybody on the phone, I may have a dozen coins. I may, 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 maybe have a dozen coins. Like I said, yeah. great opportunity to own numismatic history, to own compositional history, to own uh, uh, design history, all of that put together. This is what you got to uh, uh, get right now. So 585-992 is your item number. We will let you know when it's sold out. Use express ordering. We are very busy. Such a significant and important coin in the world of coin collecting and, of course, historical and the fact of it's the first ever from the U.S. Mint to ever make a palladium coin. Okay, we also want to share with you the 1999 to 2009 state quarters, proof condition, original packaging, and Mike had told me, I think this is the one, right, Mike? You said the original packaging really lends itself to add to the significance of this set, right, Mike? Yeah. He's not listening to me. No, I'm really not. <laughs> You're really, I just be honest, Mike. I'm just not, not listening to you at all right not. there. Now I feel like I'm, I'm having a conversation with my husband. Um, $149.95, we're taking We'll 50. get to those. We have 400 of those. We'll sell them out. Right. That's, I don't know. But, but the reason I was looking at this, so I, it's just, you are I so didn't realize, fun. sorry, I didn't realize we had this set. That's why I picked Did it up forget? and I'm looking at it. Yeah. Uh, uh, this, is, this is a big deal. Uh, we've talked about this, I think, in the past. <laughs> Well, I know we have in the past, you and I. These, yeah. are, these are the secret American Silver Eagles. Uh, uh, yeah, we're just going to do a couple of minutes right here, okay? Because we have the Minstate 70s. The key to this, I think we have some Minstate 69s. Uh, after this, am I correct? Um, perhaps I am, yes, perhaps I'm not. I yes, I think so. Yes, yes. 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 So I want to show you the Minstate 70s first. So here's what it comes down to. I, I have a few of these. Okay. The United States, they made these coins. So you have Philadelphia, West Point, and San Francisco. The United States Mint has always said that they're buying these coins at, uh, or sell, making these coins at West Point. They have never, they, they didn't admit, we asked them, were you making coins, supplemental minted coins at San Francisco and Philadelphia? Because they don't put mint marks on the supplemental mint coins. They said, oh no, we would never do such a thing. But they were. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, it was until March of this year that we even found out that they were. An intrepid numismatic journalist, I also did not know such a person existed, <laughs> asked, 
The United States Treasury, through the Freedom of Information Act, they said, are you, can you please give me the mintage figures for American bullion silver eagles struck in 2014, 15, 16, and 17 by the United States Mint at West Point, Philadelphia, and San Francisco? And they said, yes. And they answered it. They said, we were striking them. Do you think them. he really thought they would answer him? He ha they have to. Oh, they have Freedom to. of Information Act. They have no choice. Oh. It's the law. Oh. And, and the government complies with that pretty, pretty well, actually. Okay. That's how all the stuff that we find out about <laughs> with the government all comes through the Freedom, Freedom of, of Information, Information Act. Freedom of Information Act. Okay. And so what happens is, is the government said, yes, we've been making these. And they go, we go, what? <laughs> we had no idea. So secretly, they had been making Silver Eagles at Philadelphia and San Francisco in 2015, 16, and 17. Now, they'd made them in 2011, 12, 13, and 14, but they told us. Okay. Now, here's the problem. See, they didn't put mint marks on the coins. <laughs> they didn't put mint marks on the coins. And that's important. So when they did tell us they were making the coins, the most important part is he said, you also requested the serial numbers of the boxes that contain these coins, and they gave him that information. Now, he's a journalist, so he published that information. Okay. So we could tell which boxes then had the secret Philadelphia and San Francisco minted coins. Wow. The problem is, is we didn't find out about these. We didn't find out about these until 2017, and we'd opened up most of the boxes of 2016. Once the 500 coin box, and I think we have one of the boxes here, if I can get oh, one yeah. of the big green boxes. Once yeah. you cut the straps open on one of those boxes, you can't tell where they're from. They're obviously, their default, this is a 2017 box right here. This has already been, this has already been opened. The straps have been opened. Here's the serial number, which actually also matches this over here, and there's a thing inside. Once the straps cut, they're de facto West Point Mint. So all of these coins, well, they made a million of each one of these coins, which is the third and fifth rarest Silver Eagle ever made by the United States right. government. By the time we figured it out, well, they made a million of each one of these. There's more like 60,000 in existence. Wow. So the rarity of these uh, Philadelphia and San Francisco minted coins, particularly from 2016, are amazing. So we have the, the Mint State uh, 70s, which you can see are a customer pick, extremely difficult to get. I've got a very small number of these at $999.95. The complete mint set, including the secret silver American yeah. eagles, the and, secret silver American eagles. And we haven't seen these since August, and we have mm -hmm. them back in stock. So take advantage here, five six three two six eight now we're going to move into the 2016 mint state 69 philadelphia san francisco this is a and big west deal. point okay okay i just explained to you the secret silver eels and in 70 there are a thousand bucks here? yeah we can just okay. put that back there okay i want to move this up guys Sorry. all right we'll just put that right up right back there perfect i'll hide so these. i was just talking this about this being the secret silver eagles it's so funny, you guys know the story. I've already sold 28 of these. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've only got 200 left. We'll sell all 200 okay. right here. So, so I'm talking about price, the secret, si what? I can't believe this price, I didn't mean to that, interrupt you. That was you. silly, it's right? silly. I don't know why we're doing I, that, I mean, but we like, are. what? So we have the secret American Silver Eagles that I was telling you about. In the 70, it's a thousand dollar set. I sell them all day. The 2015, they didn't do a San Francisco Mint, they did a Philadelphia Mint. Mm -hmm. The 2015 P-minted coin, I've got it on hsn.com, they're $599 right. for just the P-mint, 2015. Well, it's 2016, they made a P-mint and an S-mint. Here's the amazing part. I am selling you these, you get all three coins at $199. Like I said, out of these special mint boxes, okay? Out of these special mint boxes. I'm selling you these, and this is why they're such an incredible seller, at basically the price of a regular Silver Eagle, even though it's like the second and fourth rarest Silver Eagle ever done by the United States government. The rarest one is the 1995 10th anniversary, which in this condition is about a five or $7,000 coin. The second rarest coin is the 2015 Philadelphia minted coin that they did the year before this. It's a $599 coin. Then third and fourth, or third and fifth, depending on how you count it, is this coin and this coin, not for $500 or $600 or $800 a coin, but for basically 69 bucks a piece. Actually, not even. You know, I can't remember a time I think we've ever sold a Silver Eagle for, for $69, $69 dollars, let alone right. the secret Silver Eagles that literally the United States government were trying, was trying to hide from us.
And when asked, they said, oh, no, no, no. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep us, and I don't know why they were keeping this secret. These are the secret American silver eagles. And we have them, and they have to be certified. Because once that box is open, you can only buy these coins certified. You can't get them uncertified. There's no other place on the planet that I'm aware of that you can buy this set for $199 because of the P-Mint and the S-Mint, the supplementals that you see right there. Because nobody else has any quantity of these coins, and if they have them, they're not going to sell them for basically the price of an American, regular American Silver Eagle. That's the issue and that's the problem. So there you have, that's the regular Silver Eagle, the 2016 W. I sell that coin all day long for $69.95. They made 40 million of those. Right next to it, for basically the same price, I have the Philadelphia Supplemental Minted Coin, of which I'm guessing there's about 60,000 in existence, which makes it the second or third rarest American Silver Eagle. And then the S Mint right next door to that, which I'm guessing is about 75,000. Now I know the mintages were about a million of each coin, mm -hmm. but the vast majority of them were opened up because we didn't find out until the next year. So they're year. lost forever. They're lost forever. They're lost forever, and that's the secret to this deal. Right. That's the secret. These but are the secret eagles. The government did not want us to know that they were making these eagles. And to this day, I cannot find out why. And I do not mm -hmm. understand why. And when asked, they said, why didn't you tell us? And they said, because they're all the same. Yeah, I had read that okay? somewhere. Right, that they're they homogeneous is what they said. It doesn't matter what mint they came out of. Oh, yes, it does. And I'm here to tell you, <laughs> it matters, and it matters a lot. <laughs> okay, now I have not had this. Can, uh, uh, is, Daryl, is there any way to look to see the last time I yes. had this set available? Uh, oh, well, the other one we had until August, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll this see one, if... the last time I had this, and I completely and totally sold it out, I think it's probably about two months ago. Right. Okay, probably about two months ago was the last time that I had this set available, and I held the price. Okay, I held the price. I have about a minute here. I may go over that clock okay. just about a minute or so, because I want to sell these out. I had 200 sets that I was able to put together. I have 200 sets that I was able to hold the price, because what's happening is, is not only do I have coins that basically are almost impossible to find out there in the marketplace, but I have them at the right price. I've got them at this basically same price as regular American. So now I have the 70 sets. They're a thousand dollars. Same coins, oh, sorry, all certified, okay? Certified from the Philadelphia and San Francisco Mint. So you get those secret silver American eagles. You get those secret silver American eagles that the United States government never wanted you to, and I have no idea but why the government- for a fraction of the price of the 70s. Of the fraction of the price of the 70s, and for basically the price of a regular American silver eagle. It's of absolutely crucial importance that you understand what your opportunity is here. And here's what's happening. Can I get about another 30 seconds or so here, because here's what's happening. I have 160 sets left. I have almost that number of people on the phone. So this is your chance, once again, to get the secret silver eagles made by the United States Mint. Mm -hmm. They have to be certified. You're getting them. It's not $199 a coin, as you would suspect. These coins, like I said, I challenge you to go out there and find these, not at $199. Right. I challenge you to go out there and find them at $299, all out of original mint boxes. They have to be certified. I've got them right here at I think the best price right. that you can find and anywhere Mike, in the marketplace. And Mike, the provenance matters, right? <laughs> Like he's like, it's where all the money is. That's why the 2015 <laughs> right. so, P is $599 in 69. Okay. I'm going to say 69. Yeah. So, but my question then is, is once this green box has been opened, it's a you, W. Okay. De facto W. Right. So you have now lost the provenance or even well, no. Well, they it, minted right? a million of these. There's only about 60,000 that remain in existence that have been certified and it's the only way to buy them. That's the secret part. So okay. while by mintage, they're second and fourth rarest, by actuality, they're two and three. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, so if you, I mean, this is such a historical set. So if you would like it for flexible payments of $49.99 with everybody calling in, just a couple dozen now remaining, use that express ordering to get yours. We also want to share with you. Now, this is going to be our auto ship, our auto shipment. And I'm going to tell you and walk you through that in just one moment. Um, but this is your 2016 Mint State 69 Philadelphia Mint. They're supplemental. This is the whole story Mike was just talking about. We have them on auto ship. Your auto ship is going to range. That date ranges from 2011 to 2017. Nine coins in that ship shipment and they ship monthly, right Mike? Yes. Yes. 
They do, and that's all the supplemental mint coins, including that $599. And you get that. Feet. You get that. And you get a 14 slab box. And you get a 14 slab box, and you get all of those for $99.95 a piece. You get all those for $99.95. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip forward and I'm going to do the quarters. It's going to take us a second to set these up, okay? Okay. But this is the real $50 off. I'm going to show you coin by coin how this is one of the greatest opportunities that I'm able, and anytime I bring this in, these things just go crazy. Yeah. They go absolutely crazy, and here's why. But I remember selling them at $199.95. Of course you do. I remember selling them at $449. I think I bought mine at $199. You probably bought yours at $449. Oh, gosh. I don't know if my husband bought them, but, yeah, but they were more, they were not $149.95. Well, let me, let me explain to you okay. what we've got here, okay? And I got to set these up because I'm kind of setting them up as I go, okay? Which is my bad. So here's what happens. The United States government started making the United States state quarters in 1999. They were by far and away the single most popularly collected uh, uh, coin program ever put out by the United States government, hands down. The regular issue quarters when they first came out, I remember when I, I was here in 1999, uh, uh, we had the Delaware quarters. And when the very first ones, we loaded 10,000 of them in the system here. And we go to the show to sell them. And I thought there was a mistake in, in the system. Really? They were gone. What do you mean gone? All 10,000 had already sold before the show. Really? That's how popular these were. I've wow. literally sold millions and millions and millions and tens of millions of United States quarters. They're by far and away the most popularly collected coin in the history of the United States government. There's no doubt about that. And of the coins that are popular, the proof coins are the most popular. And the reason are these are the presentation coins made by the United States government that you see right here. They only come in the United States Mint packaging. You can see proof is not a condition but a method of manufacturing. I think the they're only way so to get pretty. The S and they're pretty. I love them. And this is the only way to get those coins. Now, here's the cool part of this. This is the entire state quarter collection in proof in original government packaging with the original government boxes right next door. The boxes are a big deal. And they look great, by the way. They look great, yeah. Those are individually hand-selected. I am going to sell you these original United States state quarters in the original boxes put out by the United States Mint for less than the United States Mint sold them to you for. Originally in 1999, 2000, 2001. I am literally selling them to you for a significant discount to their original issue price. And people always ask me, how can you do that? Right. And it's like, well, palladium. You're going, what are what? you talking about? Dealers out there need money for the palladium because they're $2,000 a coin. They're $3,000 a coin. Right. And so they have quarters. And I go, well, this is what I'll pay. And they sometimes, they'll take it. And when I get enough of the guys so that I can sell them to you at $199, let alone $149.95. I know, $50 off. You get 11 cents because we have the 10 years of the state quarters, the 50 state quarters, and then you have the six territorials. Okay, now here's the key. Here's the rub. Here's the reason that we sell these out every time. So you're paying at $149.95 for 11 sets. What was that? 13, 13 bucks a set. You're paying $13 a set. So that That's, puts it in, let's call it $3 a coin. Okay? It's actually a little bit less. Two and a half dollars a coin. You're paying for these. Now, these are not the coins that were released into circulation. They're only available in the original government packaging. So I'm going to go to a nationally advertised catalog. And here's why you don't see these sets anymore, like this. Because what coin dealers do, and what I've done, I break these out of here. I put them in a nice red oak presentation box, and we sell them for $449 or right. a customer pay. $449. I think the last time we did this, didn't we show it on HSN.com? Yeah, I, I, I probably sold out. Uh, yeah. So here we go. So I'm going to look at the 1990, I'm going to go to the state quarters. So here we go, the state quarters. And if I look at these, and here's what I want to do, coin by coin, okay? Right here. How about these little guys right here at $12.95 a coin? 75 bucks right there. Just within that one just, lens. Just, just the, the territorial quarters, $75. Not 250 coin. And then the 2008s. $45, $17.50, $17.50, $17.50, and $17.50. That's $68, that's $120. How much was the Hawaiian coin? $45. Wow. That's the most expensive one of the bunch, in proof. So basically, coin by coin, the bottom two right there... Pay for the... 
Way more. Yeah. They're like, a, it's like $178 coin by coin for those 11 coins. Right. And then don't forget all of the original government packaging. Oh, yeah, packaging. and all the original government packaging and, and the boxes. And the $50 off price break and the four flexible payments of $37.49. And let's not forget the holiday extended return policy all the way until January 31st, 2018, if these are a gift. Right, and you're paying 12 and a half or $13 a set. How about the $19.99? $6.50, $6.50, $6.50, $6.50, $6.50. $32, .00, not $12, .00, okay? $6.50, $6.50, $6.50, $32. .00. Now, so now we're at $175. That's $200. That's $230. That's $260. $290. $300. $300. You, know, you can do the math. And so that's why it's so phenomenally popular, is the fact that coin by coin by coin, you're not $149 or even $199 or even mm -hmm. $200. $199. You are significantly, significantly, significantly more than that. I'm seeing they all average about six and a half dollars a piece until you get down here. Uh, and then these coins are just spectacularly uh, uh, rare and collectible and desirable as the 2008 set. Extraordinarily difficult to find, extraordinarily difficult to get. That Hawaii coin, like I said, the Hawaii coin's about the $49.95. So right. you have one of the 56 coins that's a third of the value of the entire collection. And it's more than a flex pay. That's right. The United States government originally charged $20 a set for these. So the original issue price with their shipping and handling You're at was $220. Wow. Okay, so at $199, that was why I originally had $199.95. Even that was less than the original issue price. But now add in the price break of $50. Right. Okay, now have the price break of $50. And I just noticed we have flex pay on yep. it as well. You get to buy it like a coin dealer. Now, do not confuse these with the regular issue state quarters, the one you got at the change, the one you got at the bank or the post office. Those are Philadelphia or Denver minted quarters. These are the San Francisco minted state quarters. These are the presentation coins. They only come in these sets. See the little S mint right there? Mm -hmm. The only way to get an S Mint state quarter is in the original government packaging. These are the 1999s, and they are for less money than the government originally charged for them. That's a pretty big deal. It now, is. a lot of people will sell you the lenses. They are hard and difficult, and of course, they contain the coins. But let me explain to you what the real difficulty is in finding these coin sets for us to sell. The, it's the boxes. Yeah, the packaging. It's the packaging. Because what happened is, is the majority of these coins were made and put into complete United States government issue proof sets, a big box. Right. And so they'd take them apart and you just have the lenses. Oh. I have got the individual single set boxes for each and every year, including the certificate of authenticity right. that Robin has down there. For So we have the original boxes, we have the original certificates, and those are included, right. and they are significantly important when you buy these and collect these and want to own these. In many ways, for the collecting part of this, the box is every bit as important. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, in the coin world, this 2008 box Empty, I can sell for $12. Seriously? Because it adds significantly to the value of the set if the lens comes with this box. Because wow. the box is so phenomenally rare. So it's rare. the entire package. It's the entire package. So not only do I have the set, but we have the boxes as wow. well. And that's of critical and crucial importance. Now, so we've already sold, we got hundred and we got 10 dozen of these sold. I've got maybe 300 sets, but I have uh, about 200 plus people right. so on the phone about right now. Sets left. Because they want to buy, yeah, okay, I didn't buy the state quarters. I forgot. I get to go back and buy them for less than the mint would have sold them to me for. I get to buy them from you at the absolute lowest price I've ever sold proof state quarters at, and I've sold more proof state quarters or regular state quarters than anybody else on the planet. I put all of those things together, and what it adds up to is one of the great opportunities. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes in, in coin collecting, if you wait, you've lost. Yep. This is one instance by waiting, you get to save. Like I said, I put, take all these out, hammer them open, take all these out, instead of selling them individually, put them in a red oak presentation box and sell them for $449. Or you can buy them in the original government packaging with the original government boxes. And 
for one forty nine ninety five. Right. And Mike, with everybody calling in, we have probably just about seventy five now left. Yeah, and that's about that right. is it. Now listen, the price break is temporary, or basically until quantities last because they look like they will all sell out. Fifty dollars off. Plus, you've got the four flexible payments of thirty seven dollars and forty nine cents. Remember, this is the entire complete set of the state quarters. If you've been trying to piecemeal them together, these are all done in proof. And these are the proof coins. They're not right. the uncirculated coins, not the one you got at the bank. They're only available like this. They're as much as 500 times rarer than the regular issue quarters. You get them in the original government package. So all over here, I know you're just seeing the lenses, but don't forget you get the territories the as well. Yep. But you are also going to get all of the original government packaging coming included. 145419 is your item number. Mike, thank you so much. You're going to be back at 2 a.m. tomorrow? 2 a.m. All right, we'll see you then. I'm on vacation, so until I'm back, have fun. Shannon Smith is coming up next. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a great night. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health.